Hi, my name is Becca Ironside. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist. About a year ago, I released a video which explained how a pelvic floor physical therapist can assist men with their needs in erectile dysfunction. This video was met with a lot of popularity, but there were even more questions that men had about how a pelvic floor physical therapist could help a man in regards to erectile dysfunction. So this is basically a follow-up message to educate men about how it is that pelvic floor physical therapy can assist men in their male, male pelvic sexual health. So, if we were to look at the muscles of a male pelvic floor, they look something like this. This is a two-dimensional drawing. So, when you're walking around and living your life, these muscles at rest would be flat up against this picture. They would look something like this. So, they're not moving. You're sitting upon them, and they're in one plane of motion. When it's time for arousal, these muscles will balloon out of the body in this direction and they will allow blood to pool into the testicles and the penis, allowing for a rigid erection, which should be maintained until climax. These muscles also have another important job. So they lengthen and allow the blood to pool into the system, but they also prevent it from leaving until climax is complete, at which time blood will leave this area. So this is the function of the pelvic floor muscles in a man with satisfactory pelvic function. From a physical therapist's perspective, there are two types of erectile dysfunction that we as practitioners can assist with. So remember, we are specialists of muscles and joints, and the muscles that we're focusing on that are required to be supple and movable and yet strong for erectile function are located right here. So first we'll talk about the type of erectile dysfunction associated with men with a tight pelvic floor. So these are guys whose muscles are not ballooning out appropriately. They're not lengthening enough during the process of arousal. So some of the symptoms that a guy with a tight pelvic floor might report are discomfort in the testicles and the penis, might also just be tension, generalized tension in the area before after sex. They might also report an inadequate erection. So the erection is there, but it's not what it once was. And finally, premature ejaculation is occasionally reported in men with tight pelvic floor muscles. So these are the things that we're seeing as pelvic floor physical therapists for men with muscles that are tight in the saddle region. For treatment for such men, we can provide and assist men with the following. We would assist a man and teach him how to stretch his hips and spine as these joints and muscles are attaching and connecting directly to these muscles of the pelvic floor. We can teach the man yoga positions. And believe it or not, breathing and meditation techniques can do wonders because what these men often can't do is lengthen and allow the blood to pool into the area. So they need to calm down and we can assist towards that end. The final thing that we can do is actually provide stretching to these muscles themselves. We can do that as therapists and then we can teach men how to perform this so that they can achieve more sexual pleasure and loosen this area on their own. So the second type of erectile dysfunction that we as physical therapists can address are for gentlemen with weak pelvic floor muscles. So these are guys that their resting place of their pelvic floor is actually already in the ballooned position. So they have weakened, lengthened muscles. And so what happens when it's time for arousal is that these muscles aren't generating enough force to hold all of the blood sufficiently into the testicles and the penis for a nice, firm, rigid erection. So this is pelvic floor weakness. Now, this can be a result of advancing age, any time over 40. It can be a result of having diabetes or hypertension, but there are so many different causes of this type of erectile dysfunction. However, there are many treatments available. So with gentlemen like this, they often report difficulties with penetrative sex because it's one thing to achieve um, an erection that's sufficient for manual sex, but it's another thing altogether to be able to maintain an erection with penetrative sex all the way up into climax. 
And this is how physical therapists can help with that. What we would do is basically assess these muscles to see if they're weak. We would allow you to increase the strength of these muscles by increasing your core strength, your hip strength, and also learning how to isolate these muscles here. This is called a Kegel exercise, and this will allow you to maintain a more rigid erection during the sexual act for more pleasurable outcomes. The other thing that can really help is an increase in cardio activity. So we're bringing more blood flow to the area. So ultimately, with guys like this, we want to increase strength for an increased sexual response. More blood goes to the penis, more blood stays in the penis. So we often get questions from men and they ask, how could I possibly know if my pelvic floor was tight or if it was weak? It's kind of difficult to know. Um, men with tighter pelvic floors, they may have more urinary frequency and constipation. And men with weaker pelvic floors, they may have urinary leakage or diff difficulty stopping a urinary stream. But these symptoms can be very mixed and ultimately the only way to know if you have a tight or weak pelvic floor would be to go and see a pelvic floor therapist so that they could assess it. Now, as we've discussed, there's two very different treatments for these two types of erectile dysfunction. So there's the tight guy and there's the weak guy and the treatments are different. So it would be important to elucidate where you are in this spectrum of tight versus weak and to go to the right professional to discover what can be done to enhance your sexual function. But in order to back this up, there was a study done in 2014 by a man named Lavoisier and he put men of both the weak pelvic floors and with the strong pelvic floors on a pelvic strengthening program. And the response was that 87% of the men reported improvements in their erectile dysfunction. So this is a very promising thing and there's science to back it up at this point. Our suggestion to you if you have any degree of erectile dysfunction, would be to find a pelvic floor physical therapist and we can help devise an individualized treatment plan for you to help you improve your sexual life. As a pelvic floor physical therapist, I've treated men with varying degrees of erectile dysfunction through the years. Some of these men have tight pelvic floors, some of them have weakened ones, but I notice one commonality, and it's that men have no sounding board. They don't have anybody with whom to discuss, frankly, their issues of erectile dysfunction. So I decided to write a book about it. And this book is a compilation of fictional stories of men with different types of erectile dysfunction. And then there's a scientific portion of the book which discusses treatments available. The name of the book is On the Sneak Tip, The Male Pelvis Revealed. Sneak Tip is two words. You can find this book on Amazon in both ebook and paperback format. And I really hope you enjoy it.